What's up, everybody? It's Ty the Bourbon Guy, and welcome back to the 25 Days of Whiskey. Today is day 22. <laughs> 22 days in. We are almost there. And today, we are going to take a look at Penelope Barrel Strength. This actually is their four grain. So for those unfamiliar, Penelope has a few different products. Their four grain, they have toasted, they have their architect series. I just feel like everything that they are getting into has just been uh, really good. Now, I'm not gonna say that I'm a fan of every single thing they're doing, but I can uh, definitely I can definitely appreciate what they're doing and just kind of, uh, you know, kind of go from there with certain products. But this particular one, this is one that it just blew me away. It was a particular one that I've always been interested in. I've, I've heard a lot about it and it's their four grain. So for those that are not familiar, four grain just references the fact that there are four grains <laughs> in this whiskey. Sometimes we like to overcomplicate things in the whiskey world, but that basically is what it is. There's corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley as part of the recipe that makes up this whiskey. So anytime you hear four grain, it doesn't mean it has to be those four grains, but literally it's just telling you there's four grains in the whiskey, right? So Penelope does this extremely well. You know, recently they've been acquired by MGP and there was a lot of talk about the brand and, you know, MGP just acquired them for that. But I think there's so much more than that. I think that it's a partnership that seems to be great for both parties involved. And I say partnership, it's an acquisition. <laughs> but either way, I think it is beneficial to both parties. And, you know, when you look at MGP basically selling their barrels out to uh, non-producing distillers that are then able to, whether it's blend or age a certain way or whatever it is, you know, finish it, whatever that they're doing with those barrels, and now to try to acquire it back. My only thought is MGP sells a lot of barrels to a lot of companies. I think they were interested in acquiring Penelope because of the, yes, the brand, but I think the infrastructure of that as well. I think they have proven that yes, they take these barrels and can really make some special products with those barrels. So for MGP to bring them back in, you know, I think that it, it's beneficial there. But I think on the other side of this, when you look at what they are currently finishing and blending and, and the resources that they had available at the time, and now <laughs> I would imagine that MGP acquires them. Now the arsenal is opened up and, and there's a lot more available to you in terms of maybe older whiskey, maybe better barrels or whatever the case may be. There's just going to be a lot more there. And then when you think about just the ability to, to scale and all these different things, again, to me, this made perfect sense on, on both sides. None of this really matters <laughs> to the person that just sees it in the store, buys it and just drinks it to the casual whiskey drinker, let's say. Um, I think for those that are enthusiasts and that are heavy into the game, we want to know every little detail, right? But if you're just walking in a store and you see this bottle sitting there and you try it, you may not care about any of that stuff. You just want to know, is this whiskey good or not? Spoiler alert, <laughs> this one is phenomenal. I, I really was impressed with this. I've had the architect and I don't think it's bad. I think that the the stave finishing, the way that it's done, to me, isn't my favorite, but by no means do I think that's a bad whiskey. You know, I think it's just one of those things that, again, just not for me, and I think there's a time and a place for every whiskey, and for me to try this and then go to the Architect back to back, I don't know if that was the right way to do it, <laughs> because I just wanted to come back to this bottle. Um, this one is obviously barrel strength. So it's 112 proof is the particular bottle that I have, but they do different batches. So I would assume that 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 could change depending on what batch you have. I think the fun part of the batching process is that there's different elements to the whiskey that may change as you move from one to another. So maybe one is fruitier, one is spicier, you know, one is oakier. I don't know what it may be, but it just it can it can shift between batch to batch. And sometimes you may find batches that you uh, appreciate a little bit more than others or are more interested in more than others. And that's okay. That's all part of it. And the, the best thing I 
can suggest for you to do is just to try not even just as many batches and things like that, but just try as much whiskey as you can responsibly. <laughs> but just so you understand your taste profile and what you look for and what you like and what you don't like. If the whole world is telling me that I have to love Penelope Architect and I try it and it's not for me, that is okay. <laughs> it's allowed. Uh, I think the difference is, again, that doesn't mean that's a bad whiskey. And there's certain whiskeys that I rate and review that I absolutely think are bad whiskeys. They're just not good quality. There's just something there. The Architects series is not bad whiskey. It's just not my personal preference when it comes to taste profile. So again, kind of think of it through that lens. But I think Penelope, I've actually got a few friends over there at Penelope. And I just think that what I've seen them do and where they've been able to, to go and you know, just the, the talk behind them. And, you know, after, after being acquired by MGP, they released a nine year age statement whiskey as well. Um, you know, just some of the finishes Rio seems to <laughs> never be in stock anywhere. Uh, and when it is in stock, it flies off the shelves immediately. So I, I think there is a lot of hype, but within good reason, there's a reason why there's good hype there. And I do think this is a company that seems to do it right and just really seems to be interested in the consumer experience and help guide that consumer through their products and i think they do a fantastic job at that so i could say all that we need to try the whiskey cheers so the first thing that i noticed on this whiskey is the balance the nose is a bright fruit nose but as i move into the palate the spice comes through but i don't lose the fruit altogether it's finding a way to balance the two and still present that sweet and still present the spiciness, but have the two play together <laughs> peacefully without one trying to overpower the other. And I think that this does that exceptionally well. And at 112 proof, I don't feel that it drinks its proof. I feel like it lets you know it's there, but it still is very drinkable. If you're relatively new to whiskey and you are not used to those types of proof points, uh, I would suggest an ice cube or something like that, or, or maybe even just a few drops of water. I haven't tried it with a few drops, but I would imagine that that might soften this just enough because again, it doesn't really drink heavy <laughs> or real hot or anything like that. I think this is still very approachable, even at 112 proof. Let's finish this one off. So this one is a bottle that I would actually be very interested in pairing with food. I'm not always the biggest fan of pairing whiskey with food, but just <laughs> because I myself don't necessarily uh, like to do it. A lot of times when I eat food, I just want to drink something <laughs> else, but uh, and then drink whiskey almost like a dessert after my meal or before or something like that. But the, the flavors on this whiskey to me just kind of like lend itself to be like prime for, <laughs> for, you know, complimenting a meal. And I think when you are trying to pair anything, whether it's wine or whiskey, I think there's, there's a few thoughts. One is probably to compare and one is contrast. So are you trying to compare, you know, the, the sweet and sweet? So you have a dessert and you also want to find a sweet whiskey to kind of get that to align. Or what I'm eating is uh, very sweet and I want something spicy to kind of cut down that sweet and balance itself back out. I think there's two ways to look at a food pairing with whiskey and I think that with the sweeter fruitier notes that I'm getting on this I would actually like to to try to maybe get this to match with something else that's a little sweeter um, I don't know that I'd want to go spicier especially at 112 proof I think it's already you know it doesn't drink 112 but it does get a little warming and there is a little bit of spice in there so if I now go try to find something that's also contains a lot of spice I think it might be a little bit too much but I think if I can find something that's maybe almost oversweet and then try this, <laughs> I think it would actually be a very good pairing. I think that this, the sweet and the spice would play together very nicely. Phenomenal job, Penelope, as always. I mean, like I said, there's plenty of products. I'm not a fan of every single one, but again, that's okay. That's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> there's something that everybody can enjoy. They do the toasted, rye they do their to toasted bourbons they do the barrel strength they do the four grains i mean whatever it is the architect they have a lot of things going on i really feel like they have something for everybody so when you see this brand i think they do enough tastings or i've seen enough being offered as samples or whatever the case is that you might be able to try it 
maybe at a bar. But either way, when you see this, give it a shot, and I think you will enjoy it, at least one of their products. <laughs> Great job, Penelope, and I can't wait to see where you go from here. Thank you all for tuning in today for day 22 of the 25 Days of Whiskey, and I will see you tomorrow for day 23. Cheers.